G'day and welcome, I'm Faintly Saintly and today we're looking at the demo of Voin, available now through the Steam Next Fest. Now Voin is a first person hack and slash action roguelike and it looks very full on, very fast paced and uh, definitely wanted to check this one out. So let's jump in. We'll just start a new game here. Lightning. Lightning. Cool art style. Rise now and serve me and the world. When the game started up, I had the option of choosing a modern or a retro art style. I went retro. I think that's what we're seeing here with the uh, pixelated sort of look to it, which I find appealing personally. Boom. Didn't take this to be a very story driven game, but clearly there is some lore and some world building to get through. What a badass. Here we are. Whoa. All right, press E to pick up your sword. Here we are. He's uh, jiggling that sword around, isn't he? Left click is a light attack. Hold is a heavy attack. Shift is dash, space is jump. What is happening here? Maybe I should have picked modern. This is a very intense effect. Uh, uh oh, look out. Okie dokie, he's just lost his head. Nice. Gee, this is actually very satisfying. Melee can be hard to do in first person. But this feels weighty and impactful. A little subtle slowdown as well. There is no fall damage. Landing from a sufficient height will cause a lightning strike. Sick. What else is around here? I'm not quite sure what this landscape is uh, meant to be exactly. Anyway, lightning strike incoming. Nice. So I'm collecting these gooey blobs for currency. What is in the bottom there on my screen? Hmm. Use dash while an enemy is highlighted yellow to avoid taking damage. Perfect dash temporarily makes you immune to any damage. Okay. Gotcha. So you're yellow, I dash. Oh, double kill, nice. What is this? A fledgling a ring of arcane retribution. Corruption is not allowing me to see the qualities of this item. I have to cleanse it first. Strike me down and I shall answer with a burst of arcane fury. So corrupted is like what? Uh, unidentified or curse items that you can't quite tell what they do? Uh, okay. Let's see it somewhere. Somewhere. There it is. So I need to find a way to basically remove that corruption so I can see what that ring does. And you're a bit tougher. What are these icons at the bottom of my screen? I'm not quite picking up what they're putting down. Oh, that was a right click. Which is the overhead slash, which is actually very powerful. Love it. 
cool environment. Let's kind of have a quick look here in the options, graphics. Let's turn off retro mode. Stop motion animations. Ah, that's that choppy sort of movement style they've got. All right. Restore heart charges by hitting monsters. Heavy attacks restore more. Okay. Do I just take damage from something then? All right. Looks a bit clearer with the retro mode turned off. Let me know what you prefer. I do like the retro mode, but um, it does make some things hard to see, and I imagine with the compression and everything involved in the recording and uploading, it's probably going to be a little bit tricky to see, so I might just leave it off for now. Dig another ring, didn't we? Oh, where'd it go? Okie dokie. Did I not just get in here before and see my rings? Oh, there we are. So another corrupted one. Gotcha. Uh, where do I go? This is where I came from. I have a terrible sense of direction, especially with uh, lack of landmarks to guide me. Oh yeah, this is new. Oh, I should have jumped from there and struck him. Oh well. These are just the little fellas, so they go down pretty easy. A twin fused heart. Another corrupted item. Four charges. What is this? Like a flask or something? Maybe. Like a what you'd have in a Dark Souls game. R to draw and sheath weapon. Control is super dash. Switch between movement and combat stances. With your sword sheathed, use super dash to teleport. So R to sheath. There we go. Right. Okie dokie. Use it to teleport. Interesting. What have we here? So it's locked and spiky. Will it hurt me? Will it open at all? It'll just open. An emerald heart. Interesting. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, where am I? that saw back out in a hurry. Nice. What is this? Ah, the lid off that chest apparently. Okie dokie, another chest here. A secret treasure. We have the rose does a lot more damage. Corrupted again, so I can't use it or see the qualities of it. That seems like a little upgrade. Mm. And there's also another ring, which I think is also corrupted, so... We'll have to look at that when we figure out what to do with them. Any more? Yes, here we go. Oh no, that wasn't high enough for a lightning bolt. It's a shame. Hold left click for heavy attack. They spend knockback charges to stagger all monsters hit. Knockback charges are restored over time. Ah, that's a knockback charge, there you go. It's 
So that's what those icons that pop up on the screen are. Okay. Another corrupted ring. No shortage of loot, which is good. But it must be that you, well, collect it all during your run and then get somewhere where you can identify it all or decorrupt it or cleanse it or whatever you do. Damn, no lightning again. These guys are tougher. Too slow, buddy. Alright, big spooky door. Fair enough. What is this? The Master's Gift. Which is a Rune of Gathering Storm. Sorry, Runes of Gathering Storm. Gathering Storm plus one. Three runes. Performing Runic Strike with all runes charged triggers a chain lightning, dealing 30% of my physical damage as lightning damage. That's... Uh... That'll be confusing. I know some of those words. Three runes. How do I equip that? Right click. Performing runic strike with all runes charged. Okay. Successful hits charges runes on your weapon. When all runes are charged, you can use runic strike to trigger Special effects depending on the equipped item. That's right click, that, that slash I was using. Okie dokie. So how do I know when the runes are charged? Oh, they're just above my hand on the hilt there. Cool, okay. Gotcha. Very cool. Oh, hello there. Get out of here. A bell ringer. Big hammer. Not that I can use it yet. Still need to figure out how to cleanse items, of course. Nice. Chain lightning. Okay, well, that's credit to the game. When I read the description of that rune thing, I had no idea what the hell that was even talking about, but very quickly it's uh, clear how it's used and what, what it does. So it sort of teaches by showing rather than with their instructions or anything like that. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't appear so. So yeah, this game, Voin, sort of came out of nowhere as, as far as uh, I'm concerned, at least it wasn't on my radar. I um, heard a few people talking about it when uh, discussing some interesting games they'd played during the uh, next fest, and uh, I looked it up and thought, gee, this looks fantastic, looks not quite like a Souls-like, but still uh, good skill-based action RPG, I like the first-person perspective. And uh, interested to see what the roguelike elements actually bring to it. Whether there's like permadeath, randomly generated levels. And uh, always interested to see what gets carried over in terms of, you know, meta progression. So we have a different rune now, but I can't see what it does. So it looks like there's going to be plenty of items to choose from that I can equip at different times. An owl statuette. Hmm. Still lots of uh, unanswered questions, I guess. I don't think you're going to die. Nope. You're a quick one, aren't you? Okay, something's going on here.
Damn. Cop that. So, I still like to know what these little fleshy blobs are. I've got 1,900 of them, apparently. A moat of power. Unleash one of your powers through the journey menu. Powers. 750 to level up, okay. If I... Okay, so there's some white ones which I might be able to open. Yes, they cost one, as you can see down here. Vortex, I launched my weapon, causing it to spin rapidly in place for several seconds. The surrounding magic energizes all runes on my weapon. This enchantment temporarily makes the weapon to strike with accelerated electrifying blows. I leap backwards, hovering momentarily as I gather electric energy. Then I plunge forward in a precision strike. Let's, uh, let's give this one a try. And how do I use it? Put it in slot number one. That's easy. Let's give it a go then. Hello, lads. Oh man. <laughs> cool. A red steel broadsword. Yeah, nice. So I can see this getting very intense very quickly. But also being super satisfying while it does it. Still cop to hit. Okay, I've reached 2,000 fleshy blobs. And what is going on here? Teleport to the anchor. Right. Okay, just an interesting little movement method, I guess. Hello. That's bloody rude. Whoa, he's ended me instantly. Okie dokie. Well, I was right about it uh, escalating quickly. <laughs> Come on then. Oh man, multiple hits. Cop that. That actually felt awesome. <laughs> but no rewards. In we go. Welcome to Amarich. This is your hub where you can cleanse, unlock corrupted loot, level up your character and heal up, decide which open world level you want to explore. Only one currently available in the demo. Easy, e easy, uh, beg your pardon, it is easy to forget this is just a demo because it feels, well, mostly feature complete just from what I've seen so far. But I guess that's, uh, Depends how soon the uh, end of the demo comes. Wait, can I go back? How do I cleanse my weapons? Hall of Reflection, Molten Cathedral. Nothing. Well, I guess I'll just walk in here and see what happens.
awesome art style. I have no idea what we're doing here. Recharging sphere. Jumping through the gate of reflection will extract the power from the eye core I've collected and make it mine. Right, that's okay. I did see in here X amount to level up. So I was taking that, giving me the level. So I better do it again. Level three. Okie dokie, what's this? It's the way out, I suppose. And what does leveling do for me? Plus 10% damage. Have I... No, I haven't cleansed my items yet, so I wonder if that's in this door. The Molten Cathedral. It's awesome. And I'll get to that one. Oh, you can double jump. Okay. What is this? Increases the power of the currently equipped artifact. Increases the charge of necklace. Increases the power of the equipped heart. Runes. Weapon. Ring. Okay. Cleanses all corrupted equipment. That's what we want. Let's have a look then. The Owl Statuette. While my weapon is sheathed, little wind swirls appear in front of me periodically. Going through them increases my movement speed by 50 for 8 seconds. Physical damage is increased by 3% per each odd rat around. I don't know what that is. But I don't have anything else, so I may as well equip it, right? No necklaces. Weak Heart plus one has four charges. This one has four charges and adds one fire and cold damage per each missing charge. Every 12 successful light attacks restores one knockback charge. Okay, this one has four charges. Receiving damages applies two stacks of revitalized up to three, which gradually recharges the heart. Twin fused heart, twin fused heart. Oh, they have different skills as well. This one has four charges, adds the one fire and cold, the same as this one. But execution instead of opportunism. Deal 9% more damage to monsters with less than 20% health. Interesting. I guess I'm going to switch to this one. Now this other rune has four runes. Performing a runic strike with all runes charged conjures three copies that slash random monsters nearby, dealing 20% of my physical damage as lightning damage. That's interesting. I'm going to try that. And we have our swords. The rose does a lot more damage. 30 to 36 becomes 42 to 48. It's got 1,000 stings plus 2. While hovering in the air during lightning sting, I summon up to 3 illusory copies of myself. When I strike, they strike 2. Maybe I should put the other rune back on. Oh no, that was my skill, wasn't it? Lightning Sting. Yeah, nice. Okay, so that synergizes pretty well. What about this one, the Red Steel Broadsword? Does a bit more damage. Fighting monsters fills me with anger. At the peak of my anger, I start raging, boosting physical damage by 20%, attack speed by 12%, and fire damage by 4 for 10 seconds. And the Bell Ringer. 36 to 48. Someone's a ghostly bell close by. Each hit to the belt 
emanates a wave that deals 45 psychic damage to monsters nearby. Interesting. I think I have to go the rose, though. There it is. Very cool. Can't forget a ring as well. Taking damage to a temporary heart charge causes an explosion. Same, but with Suppress, that one has Berserk. Each 8 seconds removes a stack of either Poisoned, Ablaze or Frozen effect and releases a Shockwave that deals 70 physical damage. Okay, so same, similar skills. This one has Focus Fire, increases physical damage by 4.5 when fighting a single monster. Um... That could be good. I don't know whether I'm getting many temporary hearts. Anyway, we will find out. And I don't have any money left to upgrade anything, so I'll just keep moving, I think. Very cool. So that's a lot more interesting than just clicking through a menu. What are these? You're leading me towards something. Interesting. Awesome view here. A portal platform. Enter the active portal to begin your journey. Affects the number of enemies, changes the toughness. Enormity. Affects the chance of encountering brutal and terrifying versions of enemies. Crazy. Where's the active portal? This one. Here we go. Oh, that's a big change of scenery, isn't it? It's green and Outdoors. So let's know what these are. Oh, they seem to be recharging my little dash energy there. Hello, friends. Okay, that is awesome. Okay, so this sword, when I did that skill, made a few like illusory copies of myself that all strike the enemies at the same time. Nice little synergy there. Oh, got a ranged enemy there. Oops, have to watch him. Yeah, can we get ranged attacks? I want ranged attacks. Don't run away. Nice. Now 
Where are we going? Once you are ready to return to Emmerich, to the hub, look up to the sky and call for a portal. Interesting. How good's that? Surely I'm not done here yet, though. Whoa. Hey, aren't you that boss I just killed? That's ominous. What is going on here? What the... So we've just gone up a notch, haven't we? Summoner. Oof. Good shot. You cheap bastard. Oh, you're kidding. You were stopped, but active vindication is inevitable. Where am I? Ah, oh, back here. Okay. Let's give that another try. Retrieve lost corrupted items in Icor by getting to the spot where you died and hitting the flesh lot. Okay. So does that mean the world doesn't regenerate? Like this isn't randomly generated each time. Remember that bridge? No, oh, they just ignore it last time. That's likely. Is this uh, empty because I've already cleared this out? I certainly didn't expect that. Is there a map? Doesn't appear so. Have I just gone the completely wrong way? Oh, this looks kind of right. Yeah, I remember you. And up here was the summoner. There's my flesh pod, or whatever it was. There we go, got my stuff back. And the issue with how long that takes to fire is that it gives those ranged guys a chance to fire up, charge up their next shot. So you got to be careful you don't take damage while you use it. Like this. Straight into his projectile. Not the best idea. Jesus. Be 
kind of have to watch yourself from all angles. That's a pointless detour. Another rune? I realize I haven't used this rune very much. Ooh, what's going on here? Hmm. Nice little chest. There we go. A black razor. Get out of here. Ah, oh, rapid fire, eh? Aren't you clever? You bastard. Now, was I on the right path there? It's hard to tell. Hard to tell where you're meant to go. Whoa. Jeez, that's a that's a very Dark Souls three landscape, isn't it? <laughs> All looks amazing though. Hmm. The lack of enemies is telling me there's probably not much there for me. Oh, we may have just found another little treasure chest. Hopefully not a trap. A weird claw. You go down. Secret treasure. What have we got? Sickles and an iron claymore and the viper's blade. Nice. How the hell do I get out of here? Hang on. Put my sword away. And then what was it to teleport? Control. Okay, so these things appear while I'm in not combat mode, in movement mode. Tell me, regenerate these movement charges. Makes sense now. Oh no. Ah, oh, there's no fall damages there. Shouldn't panic. Just not sure where I need to go. Some guys down there I might go pay a visit to. Oh, I didn't even set off my lightning. <laughs> okay. So I need to work out just how far I need to fall for my lightning to get triggered. Man, but I don't even know where I was there. How am I going to recover my items? Pretty sure I was looking down on this bridge, wasn't I? Oh, there's a little town up there as well. Oh, I'll 
I'll try and circle back and find it because I don't want to lose all that progress. Where'd you come from? Holy hell. Sneaky little shits. Oh, there it is. Okay, I wasn't far away at all. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. Might double back and go towards that bridge. Feels like a logical place to go. Now I'm paranoid there's just going to be some little dudes waiting to jump out at me from every corner. Made it. Get you first. Meanwhile, dodge this little smart ass who's throwing stuff at me. Don't even know what I picked up there. So I'm not quite clear how I'm regenerating health. I know my heart here. Gives me revitalized temporarily. But it must just be attacking. Like hit combos or something, maybe that might be replenishing my health. It's hard to pay attention, there's just so much going on when you're in a fight. Another little cave down there. Can I reach him? No. So I'm going to get to him before he could get a shot off, but it wasn't to be. Nice. Dude, it is satisfying when you get a good little combo on. Feels very good. Now, is this the bridge I came from? No. Who's that down there? I don't know if I can make that, can I? Apparently I can. you love to see it. Alright, a couple more coming up. What's the best way to approach this? I just want to get rid of you first. Very nice. Lots of items. They know how to make it uh, satisfying. They don't keep you waiting too long between drops. Even though you can't really check them out until you finish your run. 
it is nice. There's always something dropping and uh, adds a little bit of urgency, I suppose, because as soon as you die, you risk losing it if you don't go back and collect them from your dead body. So it's like a bit of a, a greed test as well. I could sort of teleport out of here and get all this stuff locked in. Or I can risk keeping on going and risk dying in a place that I can't recover. This has to be something, right? What are you? Whoa. Where'd he go? Oh, turn invisible. Jeez. You little bastards. Okay, and there's still another one out here somewhere. There he is. He hasn't moved. And that'll do it. Oh, they know how to keep the en enemies uh, interesting and different. the snakes okay so as well as all the random loot that you get there might be some specific stuff placed around supposed to go. Down, I suppose. map would be nice just to give me some idea of where I've been because uh, as you can probably tell I'm not the best at uh, getting my bearings here just a little struggle I don't mind that changing to uh, between combat and uh, movement stances. Keeps it interesting. Oh, you bastard. Bloody rude that was. that ah. should have known Done. Didn't take any damage there. Slowly learning. No 
a ritual skull. Try and get these out just one at a time. There is a real sense of exploration, I guess. When you don't have a map, it's just... You don't have a map marker, a compass point to, to walk towards. You just go figure it out yourself. What am I looking at here? A motive power. Nice. That'll unlock me another skill. Launch my weapon. I think I'll grab that one. Hmm, don't know about that. I thought it might be a bit more ranged. Good opportunity to test it out. Not the strongest, might have some limited use, but uh, we'll see how it goes with groups and things. Might be good crowd control if there's lots of these little weak fellas. Like that. Okay, not as useless as it first uh, appeared. Get up out of here, we've uh, explored a nice little area down there. Plenty going on. I might um, return home, drop these items off and uh, think about levelling up. So you look to the sky, you call the portal. Look for a bright beam, there it is. Oh, cool. So even then, you look to the sky, you call the portal. It's not like you instantly teleport out. You still have to go find it. So they're not making it too easy for you. So how far away is it? Make it if they keep ambushing me like that. Oh man. Oh, another mode of power over there. Well, right, no, I thought that was going to be an easy exit, but uh, it's anything but. Let's see if I can make this distance, eh? Fair enough. It's a big fellow, wasn't he? I suppose we should make an effort to get out there and get that. Except 
that I'm being rudely interrupted. Was that a bit of friendly fire there? Good to know. Alright, we need to move to movement stance. Got that one. And we can unlock rune infusion. The surrounding magic energizes all runes on my weapon. And the enchantment temporarily makes the weapon strike with accelerated electrifying blows. Sure, why not? Jesus. I know how to sneak up on you. Ah, <laughs> uh, you again, okay. Yeah, how'd that work for you, smart ass? Probably forgotten that I was moving towards that portal. Got distracted. <laughs> Started fighting. Here we are. Jesus. Done and done. This is a long demo. Feels like I haven't even scratched the surface of this map and it said that this whole first area was part of the demo, wasn't it? back on the uh, starting side of the bridge I think I might be the world is nicely designed where sort of paths lead back to each other stop rapid firing it's bloody rude that Is our portal home? 
take that chance. We can get back. We can heal. Identify all our newfound loot, which uh, there was quite a lot of, as you can see. In every category. Look at all these weapons I picked up. Jeez. Bunch of rings as well. Very good. So we can do that. Recharge. Spend my high core on leveling up. And go back out and do some more exploring. But I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for joining me. Once again, this is the Voin demo available through the Steam Next Fest, October 2024. I'll leave a link to the Steam store page in the description if you want to check it out for yourself and chuck it on your wish list. There is no release date announced yet, but definitely one to watch. I thought this was actually quite fun and very satisfying combat and uh, definitely worth a look. So thank you again for joining me. If you like this and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And I'm always covering new and exciting upcoming indie games. So stick around if you want to see more like that. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.